I have the laptop charger in this pocket. I have my phone and the, well, the hard drive. I just have severe carpet burn on my ass, but otherwise we're good. Ooh. I think it's morning sexy socks and swollen leg. Oh yeah. Now I've got to try and get the laptop through. I haven't quite thought about how this is going to work yet because I can't slide the laptop on this floor. So I'll brainstorm and I'll be back. I'm going to have a whole nother level of boiling. This is really hard work. Okay, so you guys are coming with me. <laughs> that was like the definition of a YouTube wannabe trying to be all smooth with a time lapse and it just, yeah. Oh, this thing right here is major heaven. Hello, familia. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? We are T minus two days for Valentine's Day. Are you guys going to be as lonely as I am with a bunged up knee? All the way in London when your boyfriend's in Dubai, but otherwise, Life is great. To be honest, I'm not really a Valentine's Day type of girl anyway. Alex and I were in London together last year for Valentine's Day, and I think we all did a takeaway, and there were no cards and no flowers. I'm actually a bit of a tomboy. I don't really like anything that's too like overly romantic, although if Alex is watching this, I still want like some romance, you know? Anyway, welcome back to my vlog, guys. Today, I am the definition of a total mess. This right here kind of like sums up life at the moment. I've got something beautiful and then I managed to spill coffee on the tie. So now I've had to take a tie from another dressing gown so that it's not flapping open. That is my life. I've like started this new thing where I'm rating my sleep at the moment and I would give last night maybe a two out of 10. I'm so exhausted. And as a result of that, I now have the biggest bags under my eyes and I've started breaking out yet again. But I feel like I've now got all that negativity out the way and I'm gonna draw some positivity back to myself and start the day. Ow, <laughs> just hit my hip. I have decided that today is gonna be a day of taking control. I know that I've spoken to you guys about this a little bit before, now that my pain levels are considerably down, they're still pretty high at night, but it's so much better. I want to start getting more of a routine to my day. So obviously I can't do anywhere near as much as I used to. I don't want to use that as an excuse to not be pushing my business, pushing my work, getting on with things, and just in general living life. As for today, I basically wanted to share my top hacks with you guys to help you live a healthy and happy lifestyle in a more organized way. I'm certainly talking for myself. The time when I tend to like fall off track a little bit is when I'm not organized, when I'm stressed, when I'm low on time, and I'm like, do you know what? I'm just gonna grab that chocolate bar, or I'm gonna skip the gym today, which is totally fine. There are tiny little tips and tricks that you can put into your day which will make living a healthy, active, happy lifestyle so much easier. And seeing as I'm like starting from scratch at the moment, I thought I'd document it for you so that you guys can hopefully implement some of it as well. So anyway, Let's get going. Hack number one, and one that I've actually already started today, is water. This is my swell bottle that I keep by my bed every single night, and that was full this morning. I can't explain to you guys how much of a difference I've noticed in my skin, my energy levels, and my hunger levels since drinking more water. I know that my skin has broken out a little bit today, but in general, it's actually really pretty good since I changed up my skincare regime, I've changed up my nutrition, and I'm drinking so much water. So one of my top tips is to always keep a bottle or a full glass of water next to your bed at night and then make sure every single morning that you drink the whole cup before you go downstairs and have your breakfast. This is such a tiny tip but I can't even explain to you how much it will help you get off to a fresh start in the morning. And once I eventually make it downstairs on my crutches, which you guys will be a lot faster at, I prep another water bottle for the day and I have my coffee. This I wouldn't recommend all that highly, but I'm addicted. And you know what, guys? I don't drink alcohol. I'm healthy. I barely eat unhealthy food. If there's one thing I'm going to do that's not the healthiest and it's coffee, hands held high, I'm going to do it. Prep my next load of water for the day ahead. At the moment, you guys have seen, I'm loving some ginger, lemon, and chia seeds in my water. So I pop a few into a pint glass here, and then I also slice a few pieces of ginger up and pop them into my swell bottle. Just a little tip with that, guys. Make sure you cut them small enough so they fall out 
easy enough because otherwise you're gonna be there for hours in the evening trying to get them out okay from there you are then gonna squeeze up half of a lemon and then you're gonna add that into your water bottle and the last thing chia seeds before filling it up with water I'm gonna do the same to go with my breakfast oh man I can't balance it and I don't have two hands okay guys I'll be back my Guinness pint I'm back. I just quickly got changed. I actually got my gym stuff on underneath here because I'm about to do a workout after this. Brings me on to hack numero dos. Meal prep. Specifically breakfast. I don't know about you guys but I used to get really like annoyed with hearing people say breakfast is the most important meal of the day all the time. But the fact is it's correct. Having breakfast is so important to kickstart your metabolism, to give you the energy you need for the day, and just basically set you up for an active day ahead. Now, me, myself, which is totally alien to a lot of my friends, I never used to eat breakfast. I hated eating breakfast, even from being quite young. When I was a super high level swimmer, I used to have to do morning training sessions, and I used to hate having to force feed myself breakfast at like, five in the morning as a kid. And I think that then kind of carried on as I went into adulthood. I never felt like eating breakfast when I woke up in the morning. I'd be happy just having a coffee and then going on with my day. And then I would just like crave sugar throughout the day. And I would constantly do this. Like my energy levels would go really, really low. Then I'd have something super sugary, spike myself back up again. And I'd literally do that throughout the day. But this takes me back to my health journey. It was around three years ago when I literally changed up my mindset around food and exercise and nutrition why it's so important not only for your physical strength but also for your mental health happiness etc etc so that brings me on to breakfast meal prep can we just take a second i really hope this focuses but look at how yummy that looks that was prepped yesterday please excuse my nails they really need doing so anyway this is my overnight oats recipe which i would say i have maybe three to four times a week just because it's so easy to prep it's absolutely delicious and you can also mix it up as well what you do with it there are literally hundreds of options of things that you can prep the night before for breakfast but i thought i would pick out my two favorite ones and show you guys how to do them so that you can hopefully start having some of it yourself and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm gonna bring you on down. Oh my gosh, I'm really hot now. This is my ski jumper. I don't know why I keep wearing it because it's clearly jinxed. I got this in Japan when I had the ski accident back in January, but it's so comfy. Okay, so I've laid these out for you so it's super easy to follow, but literally all you need is four ingredients. You need jumbo oats. These ones are from Marks and Spencers. I love the really, really chunky Scottish oats, but whatever works for you guys. I then have chia seeds. You then have an option of either water or a nut milk or cow's milk if you want it, but I always go for nut milk. And then a protein powder. I am not vegan, but I eat a lot of vegan food and I'm literally obsessed with this plant-based protein powder by Optimum Nutrition in vanilla flavor. It just tastes delicious and I love the fact it's vegan. And a jar, and I tend to make these in bulk. They're absolutely fine to keep for two or three days. I'm gonna make these up now with you to show you how easy it is. So you're gonna start off by filling your jar three quarters full with oats. Then a teaspoon of chia seeds. Mix up the protein powder with the liquid base of your choice. Here I'm going with half water and half nut milk. Insert cringe influencer shaker moment. Let's do it, do it, honey. <laughs> Okay, snap out of it, Lily, you're getting cabin fever. Last up, you're gonna pour that protein mix all the way to the top of the jar and then use a spoon to mix it all up, covering all the oats really nice and evenly, literally for about 30 seconds, then you're good to go. So that now goes in the fridge overnight. It really is that simple. And then the beautiful bit in the morning is topping it with whatever you want. This is where you can get exciting and adventurous and put what you want on top of it and this is where it gives you variety so that's the one thing that people say to me all the time is do you not get bored of eating the same thing over and over again I don't basically oh I need to mix the bottom a bit more so that's hack 2.8 always make sure that you've mixed it properly for this morning's one this is what I am having berries almonds natural yogurt obviously the oats at the bottom and then this is the Linwood superfood mix which you guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with this 
is heaven in a glass. FYI, my fridge is so messy right now. I really hope you guys didn't actually see the state of it. I really, really, really need to shop. I'm just gonna like take control of the situation and do an online order, which I will talk to you guys about now. Okay guys, so I've now set up my little office space for the morning. I'm gonna be here for a couple of hours catching up on some admin while I have my breakfast and my green smoothie. Super simple, it's packed full with protein, which is obviously what I need a lot of at the moment to help with the healing of my knee, but also, as most of you will know, a high protein diet is really, really beneficial for those of you who are training quite a lot and you're looking to grow muscle and also help with muscle repair. So super high in protein. It's also got greens in there. Really nutritious and absolutely yummy. I know often with green smoothies, you kind of have to hold your nose and down it, but this is really yummy. I'm gonna get started with a little bit of admin, which brings me on to pack numero tres. The next up is something that I am very passionate about, is what most people hate doing, grocery shopping. <laughs> shopping is like one of them weird topics that I don't quite know how I feel about. Like if you were to have asked me about this maybe six months ago and you asked me my opinion on online grocery shopping, I would be like, what is wrong with you? Why would I do that? I am a real hands-on visual person. I like to go to a supermarket. I like to pick out what I want. I love food markets, farmers markets, actually making sure that I have really top quality produce. However, since moving to Dubai, by the way, my arm's hurting. I'm gonna have to put this down. That is better. I'm doing the one leg dance right now, guys. Check this out, oh, sexy socks. So yeah, since moving to Dubai, I soon realized that people don't really go to the supermarket as much as we do in London. Everything in Dubai is about convenience and getting things like literally delivered to your bedroom, not even your door, your bedroom. And it's not like London where you can like jump off of the tube and there's a supermarket and you can grab your groceries, then head home. Life is just really different in Dubai. And obviously I don't know where you guys are watching from around the world. Actually, that's a really good question. Where are you guys watching from? I'd love to know, drop a comment down below. But anyway, I started in Dubai shopping with an online grocery store. I could not get that sentence out called Kipsons and they are incredible. They have like the most fresh produce I have ever tasted in my life. And it's pretty much all organic. There is loads of gluten-free vegan options on there. Like the quality of all of their stock is so high. That's where I was getting most of my groceries from. And then when it came to my meat, well, my fish, I was going to fishmongers to get that to make sure that I could like pick out the pieces I wanted. But since being back in London and since being injured, and obviously I can't really leave the house at the moment, certainly not to be traipsing around supermarkets and carrying loads of bags with my crutches. It's kind of got me thinking, we all live such a crazy busy lifestyle and it is all about speed and ease and I want to help you guys as much as possible live a healthy and happy lifestyle but without too much of the complicated stuff that you have to try and fit in an already busy day. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I want to fill my fridge with food that is going to help my healing process but also just help with my energy levels and get me feeling great again. I'm going to do a really quick online order now and in a vlog in a couple of days time I'm going to show you guys what arrives. But the one tip I would give you is try as much as possible to plan out your meals. It makes such a difference. It means that you're not wasting produce and it also means that you're not under ordering. The thing that literally worries me the most about the kitchen is having an empty fridge. Like it literally gives me heart palpitations. I'm a foodie guys. <laughs> Hey guys, fast forward three hours, it is now dark outside. There was a little gap just because I went out for lunch with one of my friends, basically just to get me out of the house, keep me sane and have some yummy food. So it was kind of a win-win all round. So I'm now back in the house and I have just finished up a workout, which brings me on to hack numero cuatro. This hack is basically be active little and often. So this is something that I've learned over the last 10 years really. I used to be a national level swimmer. So as you can imagine, the training that I went through was absolutely crazy. Twice a day, competing at the weekends. I absolutely loved it and that's why I kept doing it. But when I got to university, I guess that kind of flipped. I was doing nowhere near as much sport. I was studying really, really hard. And I guess I didn't realize the impact that the lack of exercise was having not only on my physical strength, but also my mental strength. So fast forward quite a few years, because I've been graduated for quite a long 
long time now. I've learned the balance of not going crazy with exercise, but at the same time not completely neglecting physical activity. I think it all comes down to what your goal is and everyone's goal is different. And I'm not saying that your goal is gonna be the same as mine, but for me, it is simply to feel healthy and happy. And I know for me to be happy, a lot of it comes down to feeling great within my own skin. And I feel at my best when I'm eating well, when I'm working out and when I'm looking after my emotional health. I am not someone who enjoys spending hours in the gym. I like to do my activity little and often and also make sure that it's really, really specific. When I was spending a lot more time in the gym a couple of years ago, I used to find that I was in there sometimes for two hours and I was wasting about an hour of the time that I was in there trying to work out what I wanted to do, trying to motivate myself. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but I often find a lot of us, we go into the gym and we waste so much time on our phones, looking around and not actually doing what we're in there to do. So my top tip when it comes to being active, exercise, is to not put pressure on yourself to spend hours at a time in the gym. You wanna be doing something that you can be consistent with and that you enjoy and also adding variety into that. So for me at the moment, I can't get outdoors and I am absolutely loving doing my home workouts. If any of you guys are in the position where you feel like you don't know what you're doing in the gym or you don't have a set plan, I strongly recommend that you have a plan before you go into the the gym or you go to a class or you do a home workout. You're then gonna cut out so much of the time that you're wasting. As you guys know, I have my free online 30 day challenge, which is 30 minutes of workout for 30 days consecutively, which is an amazing start. A lot of people often say to me, is half an hour enough? In my opinion, 100%. If you are doing the exercises correctly, yes, half an hour, five times a week is more than enough. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get on with my rehab now, just because I haven't done it yet today. I also have something else to show you, which I'm I'm really excited about. Today we had a breakthrough. I'm nervous now. It's literally like excitement overload. I'm walking with one crutch. Basically, my knee is feeling really good today. Yesterday was a really bad day, so I completely rested. I didn't do any rehab, and today it's feeling stronger. It's starting to swell up a little bit just because I've worked out and I still have to do my rehab. Then I'm gonna get into bed, elevate, and start editing while I tell you about hack number cuatro. Hey guys, so I'm now in bed, elevating my leg and editing. And I just wanted to quickly tell you about hack number five. Sorry about the quality. We are on the iPhone and I'm in very much chill zone. Hack number five is super simple and it's all in relation to sleep. So as you guys know, I haven't been sleeping all that well recently. And a lot of that is down to the fact that I'm in pain. But normally what I tend to do is try and put in place some little tips to try and help improve the quality of my sleep. And this is one of the things that I use every single night. My mum actually got me onto this and it's called Peace of Mind by Origins and you literally pop a little bit onto your fingers and rub it into your temples and I find it so soothing. My sister uses Obis oil every single night and she found that really soothing and also lavender spray on the pillow is amazing. As you guys know, it's not always that easy to get enough sleep in, particularly when we're all living a crazy lifestyle. But if you can try and improve the quality of the sleep that you are having by using these little hacks, it will really help. Oh, one more hot water bottle every single night in London. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It really, really supports my channel and it helps me to create more daily vlogs for you guys. Mwah. See you tomorrow.